Hey guys, it's me again. And today we will be learning how to make uh how to make a simple box knot. This is the easiest kind of knot, but the first time you see this video, the first time you try, you're going to think, "What? This is so not easy. How is this the easiest one?" Trust me. I understand. That happened to me the first time. Okay, it'll turn out like this. It will turn out something like this. This is the one I previously made. And as you keep going, it'll get longer and longer and longer and longer as, as, as long as the string goes. And it'll just keep looking like this. And until you can put it on a keychain and hang it on your bag, hang it on, like, anywhere, uh, clip it onto something, and it'll be a perfect decoration. People will look, whoa, you made that? That's really cool. Uh, I sure did um, when I was young. Whoops. Okay, for this for this craft, I should say, all you need are scissors, a piece of paper, kind of thick, pretty thick, um, not not really skinny, or not really skinny that won't work. Or you could do cardboard if you have that. But I just chose a thick piece of green paper. Um, you need a uh, string, like some sort of string, like Lester lace. I have Lester lace. I think it's very easy. I have a black luster lace I'll be using for this, and a, bu a bunch of different colors. Like, as you can see, there's blue, white, and purple. Okay, so for this activity, we will be needing to cut out a square. Just a simple square. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. It really doesn't matter. But... Okay, see, my squares are never perfect. That's something I have. About the size of your finger. I did, obviously didn't do that. I did the size of my pinky. You could do about the size of your pinky, the size of your finger, the size of your finger. It really doesn't matter. Whoops. <laughs> um, you can use a nail. Or now, after this next step, you can use a pen. A pen, doesn't really matter. Just to make four dots. One, two, three, four. I will show you. Like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, you will take a nail. Maybe you could use the tip of the pen. Maybe you could use scissors. Really anything sharp that pokes through this paper. Uh, and poke a hole in each of these dots you made. Like, poke, 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 poke. I will show you. See, I just poked a hole. Ah, sorry, paper. I killed you. Paper's been impaled. <laughs> okay, and maybe if you want to stretch it out a bit, you can loosen up the hole. Okay, and do that to every single dot you have made. Take your time. You'd rather have this turn out perfect than rushed and rushed and terrible. So just take your time. Feel free to fast forward or pause if you feel like I'm rushing. And if you do feel like I'm rushing, please send me a comment below because I, I kind of need to know. Okay, see, I have four holes with this nail. Poor nail. <laughs> um... Okay, take one of your strings, it really doesn't matter, take one of your strings, see, I chose my black one, take your paper up, we are going to poke a hole right there, from the back side, so we are going to go like this, poking a hole, if it doesn't work, just get the nail just get the nail again and loosen up that hole a little bit more. Let's see now it'll work. See poke a hole front side and bring it through to this next hole. Diagonal. It's always going to be diagonal from the hole you previously made. Pull till it's about a little bit over halfway. Like it's like an inch over halfway. And poke it through your diagonal hole. So you get something like this. 
and then make it even at the end. Pretty even. Okay, now I take your next string. <laughs> this is the fun. Okay, take your next string. Take your next string and poke it through this other hole right there. Pull so it's about an inch over halfway. That's what I'm doing. Uh, and poke it through the hole that is the hole that is diagonal to the hole you just poked like this. So it's whoops. Sometimes your string might be a little feisty. You just gotta tell him he's boss. Or uh, like this. Make him even at the end. Whoops, that's clearly not even. That's clearly not even. See? So maybe you just pull the one that's not even down so they are even. Okay. And then my black ones are also even. And you've got an X. We're doing great. Now, here's the tricky part. Some of you get might get confused. Feel free. Watch the video again. Send me comments. See what I'm doing wrong. Go like that. Flip it over to the other side. Okay. For this, take this string, bring it over to this. Bring it over so it's touch. It's like connect the dots, kind of. Any of you guys ever done that? It's kind of babyish, but. And bring it over to that dot. And take this and bring this one over to that dot. And this one over to that dot. And then this black string, this is the tricky part. Bring it, hang on, bring it over that one, but under, but bring it under that purple one that you began with. Whoops, it fell. Over that one, under the purple one you began with, and pull it. So you get something like this. Don't pull it quite yet. Or maybe just tighten it, but now take your scissors again. Stop. Ooh. Okay, take your scissors again and cut about till it's to that to that hole. Cut it till it's about to the hole. I'll show you. So it's like you're like. Cutting the strings out of the box that it's trapped in. But don't make sure not to cut the Lester lace. That would be bad and you'd have to start all over. Okay. So once you have... It's still like my shape. Take that middle green piece out. Take that green piece out and just pull it... I just grab on to two ends and pull, and then switch ends and pull again. Just keep pulling until you think you got a perfect box shape. And then, here's the fun part, look what you created. Whoa. You can always tighten it. And now, here's the second step. Okay, so once you have it like this, Take that black, or any any color, really any color. But once you have a color, just stick to that color the rest of the way. Grab one string, flip it over, and make a loop. Flip it over and make a loop. And take that other string, and flip it over and make another loop. So you should have about two loops, see? With your black string, like that. Or with your other string. With this, because if you go through it, it'll it just break. So for this, every single time you have to go over the first hoop. You have to go over the first hoop and under the next. Over the first, under the next. See? And then take that other string. Can you see it? It's hiding right there. Take that other string. And have that one do the same. That one goes oh, oh, 
over the first hoop, over the first hoop, under the next, and pull. And then pull again. You got another box nut. Okay, so thanks for watching. All, oh wait, I forgot something. All you have to do is just keep doing what I've been showing you. Hoop, hoop, over, under. Hoop, hoop, over, under. Um, then just, just keep going until you run out of string. And then just tie a knot at the end and it'll work. Uh, find a keychain, hook it onto there, perfect, you're done. It might take a while because it's a little bit tricky, especially if you're a beginner. But I thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.